All right, what's going on guys? My name is Zach and today I wanna to share with you step-by-step -step how to create the email that you're seeing on your screen, step-by-step -step from scratch in Canva. All right, let's dive in. So in Canva, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go over here, hit custom size, and we're gonna create a new Canva file. So 600 pixels wide and we're gonna make it super tall. So let's just do something like 8,000 or something crazy tall so that we have enough room to work with. All right, so diving into this young LA email, let's start off and let's create a, a rectangle. So we're gonna create a red rectangle at the top here and we want to seamlessly blend it into our background. We're also gonna take our hero image here and we need to blend, the, blend these two in somewhat nicely. So. It's not the easiest thing in the world and Canva is honestly not the best tool to, to do this, but we're gonna make it work. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna create a gradient and we're gonna create one that kind of goes from left to, you can see here, this is going left. To, so let's test this out and let's say, so from left to we're gonna go from kind of this, this reddish color here over to this kind of reddish color right there, okay. It's not the greatest thing. We could go in here and change it up a little bit, but in general, it's gonna get the job done. No worries. All right, so next, let's go into here and let's add the logo right at the, the top of your screen. Let's do that, awesome. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna hit T on our keyboard to add some text. Let's go up here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's go, we're gonna go Mon Montserrat very common fonts, and we want pretty much the biggest one that they have, Montserrat Black, and we're gonna add some text right here, you're in, let's level up your style and fitness, and we're going to make it all caps, and we're gonna make it pretty big, so about 33.6, just like that, center it along here, and then we wanna change this line spacing just a little bit. So let's do something like that. You're in, let's level up your style and fitness. Okay, let's let's see here. We'll do, we can do either Montserrat, extra bold. Let's do extra bold, I like that. A little bit better. Black is just a little bit too heavy for my taste. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna add some text, I'm not gonna, go super into detail how to do every single little thing here, but we wanna nicely kind of space it out here, enjoy 15% off your first order, use code XYZ, which is right there. And then let's create the button. So we're gonna go up here and we can actually, what we can do is create this to be black. We're gonna go like such, and then we're going to add some text, shop now and save 15% off. Again, all in the same font just like that. And then we're gonna wanna make this, should be, let's go with a medium, just like that. And the button is just a little bit too big. So we're gonna do something like this and you can always center it along the page. Cool. And we'll do that as well. We're also gonna capitalize this. So let's go up here and capitalize that. Okay, cool. Let's group these cause we're gonna be using that button a little bit later. And what we also could do is cut this, bring this guy up just a little bit. Cool, so that way your your button is in between the two pictures and there's a pretty seamless gradient between the two using your button to your advantage there. Okay, cool. Now, honestly, this next section, I'm just gonna have to copy and paste in here. It's a weird shape as you can see. Honestly, Canva is not the best way to, to make a shape like this, so I recommend going into Figma and you can create these little lines and use these as something that's a little bit more unique of a of a shape because Canva is just not the place that you want to be including these these types of shapes but you need to include some 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 sort of transition like this if you want to keep it funky like that so it's going to end up looking just like that right there or if you wanted to take this out and just leave it leave your transition like that you definitely could so okay yeah, it's, it's gonna be really difficult to make that in Canva. We used, used Figma and like Photoshop for that. Okay, so let's put this 
are not just another fitness brands. We'll make sure that this is center aligned. I'm pretty sure it is center aligned. Yep, there we go. Cool. All right, now let's add some images. So we're gonna take two little product or lifestyle shots right here, and we're going to center them within the page. So let's actually, before we put the, let's see here. We got the, got these guys right there. Okay, cool. Whoops. So we're gonna take these two two shots and center them right there. And then I'll show you how to create these rectangles because I'm copying and pasting here. So we're gonna take this rectangle, hit R on your keyboard again. And then we're gonna wanna go in here and just make this about the same size. And we'll make this little border here, really small border weight, two or something like that. And then we're gonna get rid of the actual fill. Okay, so you can just make it a little border around the outside and it's gonna be a super thin border anyways. So we can take this and make sure it looks good. Let's go into here. And again, we need to center it along there. And then let's make this like one. Oh, come on, let's, come on, that's what we needed. Okay, so it's gonna be super thin border like that. Let's actually do Let's do zero, let's do a one like that. Come on, there we are. Okay, there's the two borders. Now we're gonna create a rectangle, just a gray rectangle and put that guy right in there. And that's gonna be our next section. And then we're gonna add some copy. Why young LA, just right there. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna actually, we're gonna add some, some groups. So we're pretty much just taking an icon and grouping it together with some text. Pretty straightforward, not gonna, not gonna need to elaborate on how to add icons and text, it's super basic. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna add a little bit more text here, check out the gear everyone's talking about, apparently. Okay, cool. Now these next sections, we're gonna add in a couple images. Basically, we want to stagger them like this. And let's go in here and we'll make this kind of a smaller image. This one will be a little bit of a bigger image. Put that guy into there like that. And then we're gonna give it a header. Whoops, we'll just do this. Okay, so this is the for him. No real rhyme or reason there. And then we're gonna use some bold text and the price at the bottom. So we're gonna put this little box nicely spaced within there. And now we have the for him. We need to do the for her, obviously. So let's put this right there. Let's go grab the, grab the images and let's pull them right into there make sure let's make sure these guys are centered they actually don't really have to be but group it group it and then center sorry align the page let's do center okay cool for her i'm not really even changing that up right there and let's go add some text right there product name and price okay we're rolling with it just like that all right we're just going back to or finishing up we're on the back end of things. Okay, cool, we're adding that last little lifestyle, nice shot in there. And then we're gonna take this group here and pull this guy down and let's center that right there. And then let's just add in the footer. And we need to make sure this is a little bit bigger. So it actually hits both the edges. Yep, we're good there. And then the footer right here, we're gonna send this guy to the back. And even though this is just, this footer is gonna be live text in reality, we're not actually gonna be taking an image and putting it into your, your email software. This is gonna be like live text, like actual text that you can copy and paste for deliverability purposes. But either way, we wanna put the footer into our Canva emails. So that way we can see what the emails are gonna look like when fully done. All right, and that's it, that's the email. Got the full thing, we got a few product sections, nothing too crazy, honestly, on this one. Have a few icons, Why Young LA? This is a great welcome series email. A little bit of copy, a little bit of just playfully with an apparel brand showing off the products, really doing a lot of just image shots like this. You just wanna show that the products look nice and they're high quality. So you can see here we have two, both those elements are really just making it a lookbook and showing that you have a really high quality brand with a high quality design just like this. So if you're running a DTC e-commerce brand and you want email templates or emails just like this and you really wanna maximize your email marketing revenue, however you wanna do it, reach out to myself, shoot me a message or go to zhs-ecom 
www.thebrandnewsletter.com and book a call there and we can get you hooked up with emails just like the one you see here. Appreciate it.